Stumped everybody for blood smear quiz 12. It's a protein that has precipitated onto the slide. This can also precipitate out in blood if the specimen has been cooled. These are cryoglobulins. This is an antibody that clumps together and precipitates at colder temperatures. Talked about before on this app, there's a difference between a problem and a diagnosis. Cryoglobulinemia itself is not a diagnosis, it's a problem. When these guys clump together at colder temperatures, uh, they can induce symptoms by causing small and medium vessel obstruction. Diseases that produce high levels of monoclonal protein, so Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, multiple myeloma, sometimes CLL and other B-cell neoplasms can be associated with a monoclonal cryoglobulinemia. More often, it is going to be a polyclonal or mixed cryoglobulinemia associated with an autoimmune disease, another cancer or infection. Most commonly, we associate this with hepatitis C infection. The problem cryoglobulinemia has been identified and testing has been done for all of these conditions, but no underlying or associated condition has been found um, that is called primary or essential mixed cryoglobulinemia and that in that case it is a diagnosis and this occurs in about 10 percent of cases cryoglobulinemia is different than cold agglutinin disease but there are some overlapping features so in cold agglutinin disease as well as cryoglobulinemia, there is an abnormal immunoglobulin that is present at cold temperatures but in the case of cold agglutinin disease the abnormal immunoglobulin causes an autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Almost nobody watches all the way to the end of my video, so if you've gotten this far, you should probably follow along for more.